Hi, in this uh, tutorial, I want to show you how to access digital citizenship resources um, quickly and use it in Nearpod. Um, in your Symbolu, uh, you can click on Curriculum and Instruction. You want to click on Educational Technology. And there is a button here called Digital Citizenship. You want to click on it. And there are many options here. You can take a look at these on another um, occasion, but we want to look at this one right here where it says customizable digital citizenship lessons by grade level and choose the grade level that you are currently teaching. So for example, I may be teaching grade four. So I will click on that one. And you will see um, the lessons that are available for you to launch. Um, using Nearpod. So you can look at these. If your classroom has maybe already had my media choices lesson, you don't want to click on that one. But let's say you want to use this one, be a super digital citizenship. This is the Nearpod link. You click on it and it will take you to Nearpod. Um, sign in with your Google account, which is your um, OMSD email. As you see here, the only way to look at this lesson is by adding it to your library. So go ahead and add it to my library. It will make a copy for you here, or it will let you open it here. Um, and then you want to preview it first of all. So go ahead and click on that. Using the preview button, you'll be able to look at all the activities and the content that is in this lesson. Basically, the lesson is ready to go. All you need to do, again, is preview it. And if you want to make any changes to it, you can edit by clicking on the edit button. That will allow you to delete slides or maybe to insert an activity that you would like. So um, as you can see up here under uh, the slide number and the total number, this whole lesson is about 40 slides long, which means it is substantial. And you can see some of the activities that they're going to be asked, or you're going to be asking of your students to complete. Um, some of them are very engaging, and so you may want to take a look at it. This is a video. I can tell by this play button here. So if you want to look at the video, you can click on it. If you want to insert questions in the video in order to check for understanding, you can do that using your editing button here, and you can insert questions along the video just like uh, Edpuzzle, but um, Nearpod offers the same um, elements of, of uh, Edpuzzle here. If you like everything that you see, then you can go back and uh, it's right here. You can launch it uh, as a live participation. Once you click on that, you will be able to launch this live, which means that your students will uh, join this uh, Nearpod either through this code or you can copy the link and email it to them or you can push it out as a Google Classroom assignment. A live launch is different from a, um, and I'm going to end the session, a live launch is different from a student-paced launch. If you want it student-paced, that means students will go at their own pace to do that. Uh, if you like what you see and you want another lesson from here, all you have to do is go through the same process of clicking on the link and then add it to your library. And you will see the lesson coming up on your uh, teacher desktop here in Nearpod. I hope you've enjoyed how easy it is to search for digital citizenship lessons on our EdTech website. Hopefully you can use it with your students right away. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.